Yo, what's up everyone? Eric Comics here, and today I'm going to be coming at you with my new comic book day pickups and some other recent pickups I had. But before I get started on that, uh, if you have a Walgreens in your area, please go check it out, especially if you collect the Funko Pops. So I was able to get all four of these for $2.19 each. $2.19 each. There's not going to be a sale sign, but uh, it rings up differently when you take it up to the front. So... I was able to get the Lizard, Craven the Hunter, uh, Scarlet Spider, Venomized Groot. Like I said, $2.19. I've wanted them for a little while, and I was not willing to pay that $10 price. So I got lucky. Now, for the real reason you're here, I'm going to go over the books that I got this week. So first up on the list, Pretty Violent, number six. Honestly, I have not read this series yet. I have no idea what it's even about, but I keep buying the issues every time they come out because I heard the first one was good and I just keep picking them up. I should probably get on it and read it. The artwork is very cartoonish. It's very gruesome. There's a lot of cursing. So it's probably up my alley. Might like it, might not. Well, six issues deep. I should probably check it out. Number two on the list this week. Batman's Grave number four. Another book. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I keep buying them. I haven't really liked it since the first one. But I keep having this feeling it's going to get better. And it's kind of let me down. I don't read much Batman. And this one isn't anything special. The reason I like the first one is it seemed a little different. And I thought it was going to be like a nice mystery. And then the second issue kind of went completely away from that and then the third issue i i didn't really know i didn't really i wasn't following what was happening too much there's not a lot of dialogue it's a lot of awesome fight scenes so the artwork is great but i don't know there's the story's lacking because there's almost no dialogue so i might not be picking this one up again we'll see how this one goes i'll keep you posted another one i was kind of looking forward to Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, number two. I thought the first issue was pretty good. Um, not too bad, I guess. I really like the artwork, and overall, I do like the Cosmic Ghost Rider as a character. But the first issue wasn't really doing it for me. It's kind of cool, but you didn't really know um, what the main story was going to be until the very end. They introduced the Cosmic King, and he was looking for Frank Castle's soul, and he was trying to get it from Mephisto. So I thought this one had potential. We'll see how it goes. If this one's not good either, honestly, I probably won't pick it up either. Next one on my list, Iron Man 2020 number one. I don't read much Iron Man, and I'm honestly pretty picky with the Marvel books I pick out. But this one's written by Dan Slott, and I'm a big fan of all of his Spider-Man work. Love Spider-Man. I love all the amazing Spider-Mans he made. I'm still reading Superior Spider-Man, and so far that is fantastic. So we're going to see where it goes with Iron Man. I hope it's good. They got like a little checklist in the back. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of going to be long. If I feel like it said there was four or five issues, but there might be like five tie-ins as well. Another big book. We're going to be moving back in the image. Safe Sex number five. This book is very weird. Um, the series is off. It's it's very off. Um, I love it though. It's awesome. It's so different. It's not like many other books that you will read. I'm sure there's not another book like this that you are going to read. It's very graphic. Um, like I said, it's called Safe Sex. So there's a lot of sex. They show it, but it's it's a very unique, a very unique storyline. It's like. Um, some weird democratic group takes over the country and they're working in San Francisco to um, basically uh, monitor everyone's pleasure or, and monitor everyone's like morality. Everyone has to wear like a bracelet. If they even have sex, they have to like sign the like forms and put forms in or they can get arrested. But it, it definitely, it's definitely a weird book, but I suggest reading it. I really like it and I'm, I'm sure this one's going to be just as good. Another heavy hitter for me this week. Image book. Hey, 
if you're not reading Image, change that. Image puts out some fire books. I know most people really like comics for the sake of, well, now I have this very valuable and expensive comic. I'm going to sit on it. Now I'm going to sell it at some point. But, you know, comics for me, I love reading them. I love the story. I love artwork. And sometimes it's not all about making money, you know. You just have to enjoy your hobbies. And Dead Eyes number four hits home for everything. Another very unique story that Image put out. Um, he's, he's not a superhero, he's just a regular guy, but that's his like costume side, Dead Eyes. He's basically a thief. He steals from crime people, like uh, mobsters, you know, things like that. And there's a lot of killing, a lot of murder. And you know, Dead Eyes, he seems like a cool dude. I definitely suggest reading it. It's one of my favorite issues that I've been reading so far. And I'm sure this issue is definitely on par with the rest. Now, this is probably going to be my favorite book of the week. I'm hoping, at least other than Dead Eyes. Um, if you're not reading this yet, you've got to change that. Undiscovered Country, number three. Number one and two were awesome. The artwork was fantastic. I love the story. It's like I said about the other two, super different, super unique. I think this one even got picked up for possibly a TV show. I don't know. Uh, I think I heard that, not completely sure, but definitely check it out. It's like um, the whole world has like gone to shit. Like the, there's like a sky virus, I think, or something like that. And uh, America closed off its borders. No one's heard from America in like 30 plus years. And People are wondering what's going on. People want help, people want answers, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, one of the alliance groups gets like a video call from someone in America that was like, hey, you guys can come in, we got the cure for the sky virus, and these people are the first people to step foot in America in like 30 plus years, and I, the whole country's like screwed up. They're definitely, just definitely give it a shot. Very fun read. A little bit lengthy, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Now, I got two more pickups. You know, I told you to check out Walgreens for these 219 pops. Go check out Walmart because I know these are valuable to you collectors out there. They, I was able to pick up the Spider-Verse, number one, Walmart edition. Um, I'm probably not going to open it. I'm just going to hang on to it because I know people are into that. But Spider-Verse itself, very good read. I enjoy it. And now this one, I picked this up for my own sake. Amazing Spider-Man 33, also a Walmart edition, but the key difference is, is it's got that gorgeous Alex Ross cover. I love his artwork. And, um, you know, like I was saying, I'm gonna have to go with Undiscovered Country as my favorite book for this week, followed by Dead Eyes number four. I can't wait to read these books. I think they're going to be so good. And if you're not reading them, you definitely got to get on that. They're, they're fantastic reads. So I hope you guys were able to pick up all the books you wanted this week. If not, well, go searching. It's always fun to hunt for the books. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to make another video after I read them all. And on that note, have a good night.